Hello everyone, um, my name is LP, I'm a mother for Portal 2, and today I'll be playing through a bunch of test chambers, and this one, sorry, this one is called the Rainbow Colored Rooms. Um, and it is red. Holy banana, come on guys! Ugh. If there is something I hate in Portal 2 maps, it's turrets that are facing you the moment you step into the room. In the moment you step into the room, you want to be able to orientate yourself, see what the flipping potato is going on, and you don't want to be worried about the fact that there are turrets everywhere trying to kill you everywhere. General tip. Another thing here is that you actually don't have to do... Uh, it's because you can just jump. Hmm. Okay, maybe not. And also, one thing here, you have an additional laser in the center of your room that does this. You could also just have a uh, not used laser, but connect it directly. That would have been slightly more uh, common. Oh yeah. Anyways, what do we have? I did not see that. That's actually really helpful. Silly, silly, silly me. No! Oh, fuck. No, no! Okay, cool. Yeah. Two time. It's just stupid I didn't see this. Um, um, um. <laughs> that sounds so useful. Seriously? <laughs> Hold on, I just simply must see this. Ah, okay. <laughs> so this is the inner trigger. Um, it's obviously a PTI. But as soon as you, you are facing that trigger, it goes up and registers you're on it. And as soon as you're here, it doesn't anymore. That's pretty really funny. Anyway, on to science. Yeah. It's really dark here. I personally hate very dark room. Yeah. 
There's just no there. There's a white circle. Is there anything here? This is just a dead end. Why is there a dead end here? Is it there to confuse me? Oh, Fatal Six. That I bumped into the cube. This part is too dark. You should totally add some light here. Hmm. Uh, I remember seeing this over here. So. Should I trust the faith light? I'm scared of the faith light. I don't trust faith lights. I don't have faith in faith lights. I think this one was nice to me, but... Yo. Ah. Mm, this better placement. No! Oh, it's one of the exits, okay. Actually, this is a much better position. I didn't check out that part yet. Let's quick save. And jump in here. What would one keep here? For another way to get over here. We could also just portal over here. No. What does that do? That gives us light bridge. I don't want light bridges or Well, actually, they're fun. 
there anything over there? That might be interesting. Mm -hmm. Quick swing. Hello, is there anything interesting here? Yes, there is. However, <laughs> not like this. <laughs> this is kind of not a good idea. Um. We need to find something for that. Oh wait, we can obviously just place it over there. Put one over here, and quick save, and hope for the best. So, what is here exactly? Charity Oh, it worked. Okay. Okay, it almost worked. Um, we need to get that cute somehow. I actually think the easier way to do this is to actually do what I just did, but then grab the funnel. So, in order to do this, we have to do this. Then put the water over there. Pull out your Rodimo and jump. And quick save. Put a portal over here, and then while you're in the portal, do this. And find a way not to die while going down here. Well, that's really easy because. I can just jump into the funnel. Cheers. And grab the cube here. Jump into this one, jump into this one. And. Then we can put the portal there, one here. Oh. And that's. Puzzle done. I'm actually pretty sure that I almost unintentionally solved almost every puzzle in this map. Uh, let me just um, go ahead, no, uh, no, no clip around a tiny bit. Um, and yeah, note where it went wrong. Um, first thing here, I could. I could probably, um, yeah, I, I went with the straightforward go over here. Um, there is gel here. Um, you're probably intended to get the gel uh, nicely spread, get the momentum, and then land on this thing. I use the momentum here and here. It's a tiny bit tricky, but it's not too hard actually, and um, yeah, you've seen it at the beginning of the movie. Um, then over here, I didn't use the funnel to get the thing because I could just crouch. Not much of a big deal. If you want to change it, just um, move the cube dropper over here and you're done. Um, over here, I there was I didn't need the pet blade. Nor did I need this lift actually, um, but it was helpful because you have this wide surface above the entrance. You can just drop down in here. Um, yeah, this part was very dark and it confused me at first, but okay. Um, that was a dead end. That seems rather useless. Personally, I didn't really like this. Um, yeah, it's just. A lot of blue gel and bent around a tiny bit, but that's about everything you can do here. And eventually the solution requires you to go over here anyways, and <laughs> drop in here. And then walk all this long way. What I wonder, there is no actual dropper here uh, for the cube, is there? Uh, what will happen if I accidentally fizzle the cube I need to go? Do I get a new one? Because if that's not the case, you can get yourself stuck. And that's bad. 
So I after something that far, you can put the cube over there and go back here, and you unlock the next part, which is over. Wait, what? You removed <laughs> you removed the observation room here, but you left the big square here. It's better um, to remove all these squares and just build the wall again, um, and also reapply the indicator lights, um, because. Um, you see all these blue lines here, um, they're called fist leaves, and um, they are unnecessary, and each fist leaf increases um, compile time and decreases performance a tiny bit, so it's better uh, to remove this and rebuild this wall. That will make your map compile faster and if people have problem with it, it will be less. Um, yeah, I obviously did do this completely unintended by portaling on the ceiling here, or I could have, and I did, put portals on this wall here, and I completely surpassed this part here, where... Oh, hold on. Oh, I also got, got blue gel. Okay, I didn't need blue gel either. Um, and you've seen me solve this. I also didn't need the orange funnel. And this seemed rather pointless, to be honest. I don't see what... Oh, there's actually part... <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't see this part. That's really funny. Let me... Oh. Let me check that part out real quick. I totally missed... <laughs> wow. My head, it hurts. Um, I totally missed this cube over here. It's really cool. And I missed thing. <laughs> wow, okay, there's blue gel in the ceiling. That's dangerous. Because it... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I totally missed the companion cube. Um, I assume it's not an easter egg, but it's actually intended. Um, instead of the uh, square cube I have over there because you probably still have it over here. Now you can always retrieve it easily um, when you are standing down here because you can just put a portal over there and put one over here and um, let's just assume I had a cube there. I can just grab it like this and I have the cube. So. Yeah, it's a it's a nice puzzle map, but there are a few unnecessary uh, elements and quite a few unintended solutions. Um, I noticed a lot of these lights in your map um, and over there, just about over there as well. Um, I don't really like them. Um, they are light entities in Hammer, but they are. Um, too close to the surface so you get this effect. And try to drag it a bit more to the center of your room. Um, that will make it look uh, a bit better than this. And personally I like it when there is actually a visible light source, but that's up to you. So yeah, that's about everything I've got to say about this map. Um, I hope the playthrough has been informative and helps you to um, increase um, and um, improve your map. Um, let me know uh, what you think of it and if it helped you and uh, yeah, well, um, that's about it. Uh, good job.